best loved TV shows. She's recently won a prestigious Olivier Award for her role in the hit show Legally Blonde. And she's also the toast of the West End, thanks to her current play, Flare Path. But who can forget the part she played in this classic sitcom? Help yourself to the buffet. Can I get you a ham sandwich? Oh, no, thank you. I'm, I'm a vegetarian. Oh. Can I do you dairily instead? Uh, no, honestly, I'm, I'm fine, thank you. What is she? She's a vegetarian, Anna. Oh, you could have a bit of cheese, though. Have you got some cheese, Barbara? Oh, Emma, it's a shame for you. Please welcome Shane Smith. Hello. Well, I've got this start because I came to see it and I just ached face ache when I came out from seeing Legally Blonde. You're in that for you know year and a half or whatever. It was wonderful. Congratulations on the Olivier Award Thank you. last week. <gasps> we. Best actress in a musical. I bet you were chuffed a bit, Sonny. I'm still shell shocked. I can't yeah. quite believe it. I actually swore. I turned to my dad and swore on telly. I won't <laughs> say it now, of course, but, um, <laughs> but yeah, I was so shocked. And uh, it's all a bit of a blur. Really. I can't remember what I said in my speech, but I'm over the moon. I'm mean, God's fact. But after all that time in that, presumably you thought you were going to have a bit of a holiday, did you, when that finished? That was the plan, yeah. I finished in uh, January and then I, was, I went on a family holiday. But two days into the holiday, um, I got a text message on my phone from a number I didn't know. And it was Sir, Sir Trevor Nunn um, uh, saying there was this part in this play called Flare Path and could you come back? And so I, I thought, well, I can holiday another time. So I came back and <gasps> that's what I'm doing now. Gosh, so with precious little break into this play at the Theatre Royal A Market yes. with Sienna Miller. Yes, James Purifoy. Yeah. Now, how is she to work with? Is she all right? Absolutely lovely. I, the, Trevor's kind of handpicked each person and, because he's worked with them before, or, you know, things like that. So everyone is so lovely. We're like a little family. Brilliant. Joe Armstrong, James Purifoy, Harry Haddon Payton. Everyone is just a really nice bunch. Heck of a difference going on stage. Just the ten of you. No big orchestra and chorus. It no. must feel very quiet after Legally Blonde, it's doesn't it? It's terrifying, Alan, honestly. Uh, you can hear a pin drop and, you know, you used to having a big band behind you and loads of dancers and being jazz hands and all that. But, it's, you know, it's really... It's, it's a beautiful piece, though. It's a Terence Rattigan play. Well, of course, it's the centenary of his birth this year. Yeah. Well, there's got a lot of Rattigan work oh, coming on. Oh, you're doing what Penny Smith did. <laughs> oh, this, this effect on you. Oh, excuse it's me. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, somebody <laughs> tells you it is. No more cucumber sandwiches for you. <laughs> um, <laughs> Now, tell us about this play. It's, it's, it's set in Lincolnshire. Yes. It's during the Second World War. Yeah. It's about... Are we... Are we... Are we going to come in with... with then Sorry. we can... Are you know, you're used to this. Yeah, Just don't go into your Legally Blonde number. <laughs> um, so tell us about yeah, it. Yeah, so it's set in, in, in 1940... Uh, it was written in 1941. It's about World War II and the bombers and uh, Bomber Command and how they used to have to go out night after night on these raids and had less than a 50-50 chance of coming back alive. And the bravery of the men and, and their wives waiting up for them and... You know whether they're going to come home, but also Terence Rattigan was in Bomber Command, mm. so it's kind of autobiographical as well. Um, and he saved the play. They were forced landing one time in, a, in one of the planes, and he saved the pages out of his book when they were throwing things out the window. Managed to force land, and then he wrote the second half of the play. So Gosh. it's just beautiful, and it, it's so different for me um, to do. Tragedy in it, but also comedy. I mean, there's, yeah. there's humour in there as well. You play a countess. I do, but she's a barmaid. She's still common. <laughs> <laughs> She just married a Polish count, so she's, um, you know... Well, I don't know, you, you played an American law student. I mean, you know, now, you, now you're playing this, this common girl, but I think that there must be some sort of posh person inside Sheridan Smith who one day will get out. This is all an act. I don't talk like this at all. I actually talk like that. Um, and I, just, <laughs> I pretend to be a commoner. <laughs> From Doncaster, yeah. Is, is this... I talked to John Hannah earlier, and he was saying that the thing is, is not for him not to get stuck, to keep having variety. Yeah. This is about sort of far, far east end of the spectrum away from Legally Blonde, isn't it? Yeah, it is, and I'm really out of my comfort zone. Luckily, the cast are so amazing that they've kind of taken me under their wing, and um, when I'm having nerves, you know, we're all there for each other. Mm. But it is really different, but like we said in the makeup room, you know, you kind of want to push yourself, and that's the joy of being an actress, to try different things and step out of your comfort zone, and you said Judy Dench. Judy Dench, I remember talking to Judy Dench once, and Judy said, I said, what makes you do a part? And she said, I only ever do a part that I think I can't do. I think that's brilliant. Yeah, because you've got to risk, you know, you've got to take a risk. Some of you, I don't know, I might not be good at some things, and better other, but you've got to try it. Least, you? What are the best bits? I mean, Legally Blonde, there must have been so many of them, because I could see on there you were clearly having a ball doing it, hard work though it was. D do you get moments, like, I mean, in Flare Path, for instance, I mean, where 
if you've got a little funny bit, is it the pleasure when you know you've got the timing right? Just say, OK, I'm going to lean back on this now and I'm going to kind of drop these laughs into the... <laughs> or can you never be that secure? Um, it's nice, but see, every audience is different, so they might not work some nights, but it, it is nice. I mean, I love comedy, I, I, and it's all about timing, you know, and I kind of... That's what, what I've come from, but it's nice to do a yeah. bit of... This, the journey of my character in this has a lot of crying and it goes quite dark yeah. without giving the story away. But, uh, but, yeah, so it's nice to do both. Um, back to telly after this, when this finishes, or yeah, what? We're, we're going to do something. I just said, you're singing with the girl Compare Man. Yes. We need to do something together. Well, the, si the, the word the singing wind. there was quite loose. I mean, <laughs> a sort of spoke in tune. No, I thought well, we could, great, didn't it? we could, I think, my. Yes, yeah, right. We'll, we'll find something. Uh, you have it here. Sharon Smith and I are going to do a musical, probably in 2043. <laughs> <laughs> it will be a great treat. Thank you for having the me. Best I love of coming on. Thank you. It's always a pleasure to have you. Theatre Royal A Market. Yes. Flair Path, you, James Pilfoy, Sienna Miller. Great cast, brilliant reviews, and the people I've been to see it say it's fabulous. Oh, Ladies you. and gentlemen, so is she. Sharon Smith. Thank you so much. That's it for today. Tomorrow, Matthew Kelly talks about his return to the West End stage. Maureen Lippman celebrates the